Good afternoon from New York. We're coming on the air with breaking news, very sad news to tell the sports world. The L.A. Times is reporting that retired Los Angeles Lakers basketball star Kobe Bryant has been killed in a helicopter crash. It happened this morning. The chopper reportedly went down just before 10 a.m. local time, according to fire, uh, the fire department out there in Calabasas, California. That's northwest of Los Angeles. You can see the picture there. It burst into flames on impact, starting a nearby brush fire. The 41-year-old Kobe Bryant was reportedly traveling with four others in that aircraft, in that helicopter. The L.A. County Fire Department saying all five people perished in the crash. At the time of the accident, there were foggy conditions in that area that may have diminished visibility. Bryant leaves behind a wife, Vanessa, and four daughters. He was, of course, one of the most legendary players in NBA history, starring for two decades with the L.A. Lakers, a four-time All-Star MVP player, winning five championships, making 18 All-Star games before he retired in 2016. I want to bring in NBC Sports host Mike Tirico. He joined joins us by phone now. Mike, I don't think we can under overstate uh, what a legend Kobe Bryant was. No, Kate, uh, certainly not. And uh, everyone in the sports world, not just the folks who've been in the basketball world, are just shocked by this news. Uh, Kobe retired from the NBA in 2016. He's the fourth all-time leading scorer. He was the third all-time leading scorer until yesterday. LeBron James passed his mark yesterday. And Kobe tweeted out his congratulatory remarks towards LeBron. After that, uh, he was with one of the marquee franchises in the NBA, the Los Angeles Lakers, and that allowed the Hollywood presence that you're talking about. Kobe was a celebrity. He was a star on and off the floor. Uh, his championships go back 20 years. He came right from high school to the NBA at a time when that was not done very often and became one of the greatest players in the history of the league. This is a very close league. Its superstars and its leaders are in a very small and tight circle. Just this week, Kate, I was in New York at Radio City Music Hall, where they had an unbelievable gathering of basketball greats honoring the late David Stern, the commissioner who passed away on January 1st. And uh, the community was still saddened by the commissioner's passing 25 days later. And this will only devastate uh, all the basketball community and all the people who love sports, because Kobe Bryant truly was one of the great sportsmen of our generation. Mike, we don't know where the helicopter was coming from and going to at this point. It went down Calabasas, is near Malibu, California. Uh, I know he's been in the business world of late. Um, he's got a number yes. of projects. He's had a number of, of deals, I think, with Nike and others. Uh, explain that. What has he been up to more recently? Sure. He retired in 2016, Kate, and even on the day of his final game that I had the chance to broadcast. He scored 60 points in that game. Uh, wow. Most anybody scored in the NBA that year as an individual. Uh, Kobe was taking meetings that morning uh, near his house, near his office, which was not near downtown Los Angeles, yet because of the 20 years in L.A. and the notorious traffic in Los Angeles, Kobe, as he got later in his career, would commute from his home where he had a, an office nearby and would commute via helicopter downtown to Los Angeles uh, where they played at the Staples Center or to do other things. So Kobe's helicopter has been in use for several years. Uh, some had referred to it as Kobe One a la Air Force One, right. uh, his personal helicopter for commuting downtown to Los Angeles to avoid the traffic. So when I heard the news Kobe Bryant helicopter that you put together right away, that is something he had used often. And talk more about his career. I mean, you've already hit on the highlights, but this was a, this was a special player. Two Olympic gold medals, uh, five NBA championships. In his 20 years, he was an all-star 18 times, which is the second most in the history of the league, and as I said, was fourth in points. But those stats and accolades, uh, extraordinary by any accounting, pale in comparison to the people who competed against Kobe. Kobe had a drive and a desire to compete unlike many athletes any of us have covered in many sports. Uh, you know, it was the old, like, he, if his mom was there guarding the basket, he would go and attack the basket <laughs> and go over his mom for a hoop. That, that was Kobe. He, had what, he was nicknamed the Mamba, and it was known as a Mamba mentality. And you've seen him talk about it to many athletes uh, in various sports, ranging from other NBA players to teammates to uh, college basketball players and women's college basketball players uh, of the current day. They all have been inspired and 
in some way pushed by Kobe Bryant's mentality to be that extra level of great. And you've been showing the pictures of Kobe here on the screen, and one of them is with his daughter. His daughter is right. of one of the four daughters, was a very good young basketball player, and we've seen lots of shots at NBA games in the last two years of Kobe talking basketball and other things with his daughter. And uh, that's just uh, one of many heartbreaking aspects of this just yeah. Unbelievable story. Unbelievable. I mean, I do, we didn't believe it in the newsroom when we first started hearing reports, yeah. Mike. Uh, a wife, Vanessa, and four daughters. Uh, just to note, NBC News has just confirmed uh, the passing. We're no longer attributing this to the L.A. Times. NBC News has spoken with the city manager of Calabasas, California, confirming Kobe Bryant died in a helicopter crash. You see the wreckage burning there in the background of that shot. Uh, this was about 10 a.m. Pacific time, so that's about uh, 1 p.m. Eastern time today on a Sunday. Uh, Mike, what will happen now? Are you hearing yet from any uh, giants, other giants in, in the world of basketball or sports? Uh, I, I assume there'll be an outpouring of, of grief. There, there will be, Kate. As... Um as is the case in 2020, this news often transfer, trans, uh, transfers around the country much quicker than it used to because of social media. And just seeing the reports and comments of some on social media, it's uh, complete devastation uh, emotionally for so many people who were inspired by Kobe. And undoubtedly, as you watch not just NBA games, but I think games in any sport uh, over the next uh, four or five, six days, you will see... Uh, emotional tribute. You'll see Kobe's number, either number 8 or 24. He wore both in his career. You'll see them on sneakers. You'll see players wearing them if they can. You'll see displays of emotion and signs and, of course, moments of silence. I think not just in the NBA or college basketball, mm -hmm. but sports all over the country as we go through the next uh, few weeks. And certainly uh, the sports world will be in mourning because at age 41, Kobe had so many things beyond basketball. Oh. So that was part of this life, including being a dad to yeah. those four girls as well.